so I'm so baffled right now I don't even know what to say but I do know yesterday I was all excited hubby was being nice he was taking me late night on a target run so I could see what kind of Disneyland 65th anniversary items they had or that was left from everyone picking over it and I was gonna film it for you only to find out I wasn't able to film well grab your favorite snack get comfy and let's talk about why YouTube revoked my live streaming privileges yeah Okay, so last night was a wonderful day. Okay, hi. first of all, hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm Barika with the Three Copes to Tears. And um, so excited to have you here. If this is your first time coming, I just wanna say welcome. Please do not let it be your last. Don't worry, I'm still gonna put out good content even though um, YouTube is messing with me. Um, Welcome. You'll come as a guest, but you'll definitely leave as a friend. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. Hit the little bell notification and set it to always so you're always notified about the different content that we put out. And at the end, do not forget to hit like, especially now because I need some encouragement. All right. But yesterday was a good day. I went to church. I had a great time. And then afterwards, I was hanging out with my Disney friends on a, a YouTube live over on my friend's channel, and we do the Disney movie uh, movie talk live. So if you want to see yesterday, we're talking about the Haunted Mansion over at Caitlin Christine's YouTube channel. And then I hit 300, me and my family, we hit 300 subscribers. So that news came on the Disney movie talk live. We're all celebrating. I'm pumped. I want to work harder. So I'm like, man, Lise, I wonder what Disneyland 65th anniversary items they have. Because I was over on my other friend, Mickey Girl's channel, and she was talking about all the things she got from Target. Hubby was feeling good. He's like, okay, let's go. We go on a field trip, and I'm like, I'm going to live stream it. Lise, we're going to live stream it. Only to find out when I got in there, big old orange banner comes up on StreamYard, YouTube has disabled your live stream capability go check it out so first it was saying i can live stream because i didn't have a thousand subscribers but all my friends who don't have a thousand subscribers youtube was stream yard so i knew that wasn't it you know live stream with stream yard and then it dawned on me and you would not imagine the simplest thing that was so unintentional cost me live stream capability with StreamYard. Something so enemy, innocent. You know, it is the enemy. I meant to say that, okay? I follow the rules. I'm a good girl. And why is it that good girls and good guys always get penalized? And then the people who break the rules, nothing ever happens to them, okay? So the other day, Lise, and I'm doing this video while she sleep, just because she's a little sensitive about this. She feels like it's her fault and it's not her fault. She wanted to live stream us putting together her LOL um, Winter Disco Chalet dollhouse. And so we got up, we got set up. I was notifying the people. And so we started the live stream, but I needed to run out the room. So she was saying hi to everybody and come to find out a kid being on live stream by themselves, even for a second without an adult is against 
the policy. We weren't intentionally doing it. I just was like, say hi to them. I'm gonna grab something. I'll come right back. By the time I came back, I was grabbing my computer or something. By the time I finished going to the other end of the hall to grab the computer, you two pulled down the stream. We were able to get back on the stream. And you can see, I wasn't gonna let my kid stream by herself. Um, but the video was innocent. It was an innocent mistake. And then YouTube sends me an email and they're like, we pulled this down and this is why you have no community strikes against you. You have no uh, copyright strikes against you. It doesn't affect your channel. If it doesn't affect my channel, why can't I live stream? And then I go doing research and come to find out this has happened to so many people where they make one simple innocent mistake and they get their live stream disabled for, guess how long I, we are um, disabled for? 90 days. And even in some of the videos after the people's 90 days, they still got to keep emailing YouTube and trying to get it fixed. And it's just not fair because all I was doing is running to go get my computer. If I would have known, I should have just sent her to get the computer while I open up and then we be together. I would have never, ever um, done it because I wouldn't want to lose my privileges. I, I enjoy live streaming and talking and conversing. Okay. So it is what it is. These are the cards that I presented. Okay. I'm not, one thing I'm not going to do is get all cry baby about it. It is what it is. It happened. I didn't grow my channel this far on live streams because I just started it. Um, so what does this look like for me in the future? Especially since I'm a part of the Disney Movie Talk live crew. Everybody, we take turns on our channel previewing the movie of our choice. So I thought about it. I'm just like, okay, I can't do anything about it if YouTube is not going to can we get some strikes before you pull us down YouTube? Like we're just trying to, especially the good channels, like we're talking about toys and Disney, okay? It's not like we're talking about anything crazy, but anyway, so I decided when it's my turn to host Disney Movie Talk Live, I will just take turns hosting it on a different one of my friend's channels. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> They can just, uh, you know, I'll be the host on their show for my time. And that way it will just take turns. One time I'll do it on Josh's channel. One time on Danielle's channel. One time on um, Kat's channel. And one time on Caitlin's channel. Until I'm revoked. You know, my revoke has been lifted. Um, and then as far as live streaming, since we can't live stream, but I do enjoy live stream. For YouTube, I'll just continue to upload edited content. And then when I want to live stream, I'm just going to do it on Instagram. You know, Danielle suggested that last night. Um, so am I happy about it? No, but it might come out good because if I'm live streaming on Instagram, the, you know, it's open so people can like openly follow me because I don't have my channel like blocked. So then maybe that might even draw more subscribers over to our YouTube channel. So I just wanted to make sure you guys were updated uh, about what happened because we have been having so much fun and I'm like, I'm, I'm a good girl. I don't, I don't cuss. I don't, I don't do anything like, yeah, that's normally what happens though. I, I hate to say it. Good people always suffer. You know, we just do. It just is. So anyway, let's end this on a good note my family we did make it to target everything was like super picked over i didn't see any disneyland merch um i saw a couple of things and i picked it up just to lift my spirits because you got to remember i'm in target and i'm kind of like lightweight devastated me and my friends we get on a, a four-way instagram video chat talking about this and then i'm trying to google and figure it out it was just a lot to deal with um but today, I'm feeling more better about this. I feel like all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to the per His purpose. And something good is going to come out of this. So maybe this is going to help you to just think about alternative routes. So 
I got a couple of things to make myself feel better and I'm gonna show you what they are. So first of all, I saw these cute, cute little slippers and I cannot resist. And I feel bad because Elise wanted some slippers. She wanted these um, Mickey, um, Sorcerer Mickey um, slippers and I don't know why I didn't pick them up. My head just wasn't, especially if I got myself some slippers. Not that she really needs another pair of slippers, but I would have got them for her. It's just my head wasn't in the game okay but i did get these for myself look at these cute little stitch um slippers they're so cute i don't know how much anything was i just rang it up and got out of there but they are so adorable this was in the disney store i don't like the way my target is set up for the disney store because they absolutely just had like one little small hub it wasn't even like big it was like compact okay then they need to step up the game. They need to step up their game. Okay, so the other thing that I got was this Disneyland 65th anniversary Funko. And this is Captain Hook. And I'm going to go ahead and open the box. Now, I ordered Peter Pan, and we have a couple of other ones. This is one of the mini ones. I have never opened up a Funko before. So consider yourself pretty. You know, I don't use the word luck, but let's look at him. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> I'm so happy I got him. And I'm glad he's going to be smaller than the Peter Pan that I got because Peter Pan is bigger and braver than Captain Hook and his little shenanigans. But look at how he looks. I had the opportunity to meet Captain Hook at Disneyland and I will tell you he is a hoot he is a hoot this is cute I love it the colors are gorgeous you got the purple with the teal and the gold then you go into the red and the gold and the black and then top it off with the maroon hat with his uh, feather coming down and then look at his little silver hook it's so cute I love it so cute Put you back in there, Captain. I don't know why I like the villains. Like, I like Captain Hook. <laughs> but I love Peter Pan better. Because, you know, I'm Petra. Okay? So, those are the two items that I got. I'm probably going to go to Target again today and get at least those slippers. Or hopefully they'll still be there. You never know because people be grabbing stuff super quick. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for coming by and checking on me and seeing what's going on leave me some words of encouragement in the comments um i was searching for emails i did send youtube two emails explaining the situation and asking them but they have mercy on a good girl like myself so we'll see they don't send any fire back any email like we got your email so that was kind of weird i wish they would at least that would have been comforting if i could at least got an email to say hey you know um, we got your email. StreamYard was kind of communicating with me a little bit, but they were just kind of like, oh, well, you broke the rules. Um, but then I was asking them why if YouTube, and I'm going to put it here so you can see the um, letter. Um, why if they say I have no community strikes and no copyright strikes against me, would they just revoke me like that? But it is what it is at the end of the day. They did. It's nothing I can do about it. So I will be live streaming on Instagram and I will let you guys know on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because when I'm getting ready to Instagram live, I will put out the little thumbnail so you can know we're about to be living at what time or whatever and just organize it like that. And then we'll just have a good time on Instagram, okay? And then, um, you know, can't no monkey stop no show, okay? Uh, all right, so 
thank you it's time for me to get sleepy head up and get ready to start homeschooling um i was getting the house set up straight oh i did want to tell you i did sell elisa's desk you see where the mickey mouse backpack is right there and the fan desk so okay because she wasn't using it we're sitting at the learning table okay so um that made me feel really good that i got that sold this weekend because i don't want anything around that we're not utilizing because it is junk i'm I had started this minimalist journey and I am enjoying it. Today we are going to put up our little harvest decorations. So I'll show you some pictures. We just do little dainty things. You know, we're not Halloween people. Um, but, you know, we'll put a little couple of things out. I'm looking for some um, harvest tile towels, like kitchen towels that, to roll up dinner napkins so I can put it on my settings. And normally I find those at Target, but... This time I'm not seeing any and it is like, whoa, okay. So hopefully I found some at Knob Hill, but they wanted um, $4.99 a towel. Okay, that's $20 for four towels. I was just like, no, when normally I find really cute ones right in the little dollar, $3 section at um, Target. So I almost bought them, but then I was like, no, mm -mm, can't do it. Oh, the last thing I wanna say is if you are a happy planner, you know, you like planners and different things like that, that you write in to keep your schedule, which now I'm using my Kindle. So normally I do do a paper happy planner, but now I'm using my Kindle, but I did get some of the Disney planner stuff. And what I did is just got a budget planner and some of the stickers and things like that. So I'm excited about that. It's funny that I would get a budget planner from Disney happy planner when I'm always spending my money on Disney. It was kind of like a um, oxymoron, but we'll see how it works. I mean, I'm doing good in my budget, so. That's all today, okay, that I have for you. I just wanna say, I hope you have a wonderful day. Never let anything get you down. You know, we gotta keep pressing and pushing on, chugging, okay? Um, stay encouraged and remember, the sweet life is the right life and we'll see you real soon. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button the little bell notification, wherever the buttons are, and the like, all right? You guys have a great day. Love you guys, bye.